Hey everybody, welcome back to the Movie Couple channel. I'm Wendy and here is my non-spoiler review for Underwater. Underwater is directed by William Eubank and stars Kristen Stewart, TJ Miller, Jessica Henwick, Vincent Castle, John Gallagher Jr., and Mamal Duathi. A research crew working miles underwater faces imminent danger when their research facility becomes damaged by an earthquake. And they will soon find out they're not alone. When I saw the teaser trailer for Underwater, I saw what kind of gave me a little bit of an alien vibe. Kristen Stewart kind of was giving me that Sigourney Weaver vibe. And there's monster involved. They're underwater. And I thought, you know what? Why not? It looks really interesting. I do enjoy Kristen Stewart's performances quite a lot, um, especially since Twilight. So I was willing to give this a go. It looked like it was going to be a fun time. Well, I got to say, uh, I think... I went in with a little bit of a higher uh, expectation than I should have because this movie unfortunately was not as entertaining uh, as I thought it was going to be. And I think one of the main problems is that they didn't really set it up well. Um, the premise of the story, we have a crew of researchers, mechanics, engineers, and they are working miles, miles, miles below sea surface. Basically, they're on the sea, almost to the seabed, and they're, they're, they're working, researching, and their facility, uh, from the movie, what it sounds like, devastated by an earthquake or something else, and um, basically, they have to get out or they die, and um, it happens right away usually in these type of movies because we know that it's usually a group of people that are in imminent danger they're trying to get to safety obviously if you saw the trailer there is something that is not human that is also threatening their safety and their livelihood so usually in a movie like this there's a little bit of a setup we get to see the crew working underwater we get to kind of get a glimpse of their you know their work life underwater uh, their relationships, things like that. It We didn't get that at all. There was zero character building. And you just go in and you it, the movie starts on Christmas. So actually, though, the movie starts with a lot of article, like movie article, uh, not movie article, sorry, news articles talking about this deep sea operation and research. And a lot of it pointed to the Mariana Trench. So immediately my brain went to, oh, the Megalodon. I knew it wasn't going to be the Megalodon. We already got that movie. Um, but I thought, you know, like that's kind of opens up to, to, to uh, what perhaps type of sea creatures we may get, get to see in this movie. And it was so far away from what I thought it was going to be. Like, it just... We, we didn't get a setup. We have Kristen Stewart basically um, by herself in the beginning of the movie. She's in the locker room. She's kind of looks like she's in turmoil a little bit. Like, a little bit of internal struggle. We don't know. Uh, and then it just it just happens. It normally would be great. But I, 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 I really like movies that just kind of like to jump into it. But I felt like... Either it was heavily edited and there was a lot left on the cutting room floor or they just didn't set that up and they just didn't give us any sort of a character building, any sort of backstory, background. I don't know where Kristen Stewart came from before any of this. They gave us nothing. And throughout the movie when they're in danger and, you know, they're, they're trying to survive, I didn't care. I just didn't care. I didn't feel threatened. I didn't feel nervous when possibly one of their life is in danger. And that's not what I wanted from this movie. I want to care about these characters. I'm watching them on screen. And I have to pause and say, this has nothing to do with like the actors. I think gave it their all. I think they were all fantastic. It's just that without the setup and even just a teeny little bit of background on any of them, on anything at all, on what they're researching, on what they're doing down there, if we got just a little bit of hint of that, I think I may have cared a little bit more, but I didn't. So by the time we got to the end of the movie and we see the outcome of everything and who may or may not survive, I honestly couldn't care less. And I left this movie quite disappointed because I... The, the trailer was the trailer was good because it made me really think that this movie was going to be something else. So I went in there with a higher expectation uh, than, than I probably should have. And, well, I am disappointed and... I'm going to go ahead and give you my rating. My rating for this movie, wow, it's going to be a skip it, you guys. This was 95 minutes of could have been something really, really great turned into something 
slightly boring and I just didn't care for, unfortunately. Um, I really was looking forward to seeing Kristen Stewart just be this badass. And um, I mean, she was, but again, there was a lot of times where they show, they try to show glimpses of maybe what she was holding on to uh, and things like that, but they never gave us a backstory. All they showed was a photo. And what was that supposed to say to the audience? Why do we care? We didn't. So, or at least I didn't. I can't see, speak for everybody else who um, was watching this movie. So anyways, that is my rating for this movie. You guys, let me know in the comment section below if you saw Underwater and what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.